starting off with a brief definition of video games. Video games are electronic games with an interface designed for human direction on a video device. One of the biggest and most successful games that you might know is Space Invaders. It's actually the second highest selling arcade game ever, right after Pac-Man. A fun fact that you definitely don't know about is that the inventor of Space Invader, Tomohiro Nishikado, imported the hardware for the game from the US. Yet, there was a problem. The aliens didn't move as fast as Nishikado wanted them to. He realized that the fewer aliens were on the screen, the faster they started to move. Instead of wasting his time trying to fix the bug, he decided to keep it in and leave it as a challenge. Nowadays it's impossible to think about Space Invader without the pace changing aliens on the screen. Another one of the most successful arcade games is Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong was invented in 1918 and was originally based on Popeye. Nintendo wanted to work together with Paramount Pictures in order to create a movie-based game, but Paramount Pictures declined the offer. Nintendo was left creating their own characters and story. After seeing the potential Mario, Nintendo decided to give him his own story. He and his brother Luigi started fighting Bowser to save Princess Peach. Super Mario Bros. is still one of the most common games one of Nintendo's biggest opponents is Sega. Sega's main focus was the European market and they managed to outsell Nintendo and their game consoles there. With the newest mascot, Sonic the Hedgehog, they began the console wars. Now moving on to another more recent and modern addition to video games, League of Legends. League of Legends is not only the most popular free-to-play mobile out right now, but it also has a huge esports scene. It was published in late 2009 and has more than 27 million people playing it every day. In the game, you function as a summoner and summon champions to a map. League of Legends has an enormous esports scene. The matches are played on a stage where 10 gamers compete against each other 5v5. Up to 10 teams compete in one league. It might sound cool to earn money through playing, but there are some risks coming with the job. Gamers are signed onto a team for at least one split, earning up to 60k a year. However, regardless of the money you get and the dream you're allowing yourself to live, there are some restrictions gaming has on your social life. You have to play the game for at least 18 hours a day. Thus, social life and special someones are completely out of the picture. Lots of players get burned out or end up having to take supplements to keep concentration levels high. Okay. This was a good example for my next point, which is the opportunities that video games offer us. A great way to use video games for a living is the social network platform YouTube, where gaming-based channels have the most subscribers right after actual stars in their music. Examples of such channels are PewDiePie, who is the most subscribed to YouTuber worldwide and also in the UK, Gronk, who is the YouTuber with most subscriptions in Germany, or Smosh, who are ranked number four worldwide and first in the US. Another way of making money through video games is creating mobile phone apps. A great example of this successful business is Flappy Bird, whose creator made 50,000 US dollars per day solely through the in-game advertisement after the big craze around it in early 2014. The most successful mobile phone game, however, remains Candy Crush Saga, which made 633,000 US dollars from the US-based App Store alone in 2013. My last point is that of the future of video games and how it will change over the years. Video games are giving their users the chance to bring in their own creativity through games like Super Mario Maker or Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. They also get more and more realistic with 4D features provided through, for example, the Oculus Rift. Last but not least, video games, graphics and gameplay become more like movies and vice versa. An example for this is the video game Until Dawn, for which developers especially cast a set of actors.